Previously on Flavor of Love. This time, I'm gonna fly in love or I'm gonna die trying. The saga continues. <laughs> it's chaos, you know. It's running there like wild bulls. On Flavor of Love 3, I'm gonna let y'all give your name to me. I'm gonna be named Hotly in this. Loca. Hey, Flay. Twins! My name is Vaughn and I'm the best, and I know that you would love these breasts. Thank you, God. You just look around and then half these people just look like little girls here. Already, here's another battle. He has seven kids. He's looking to make three more. I would love to have that many kids. Young and ready, this woman is ready. This chick over here getting everybody pregnant before we even get to eat anything. I'm just not here for you. Because I've got she... a girl that feels that you ain't really here for me. To all the ladies that don't have clocks, I want to thank y'all. All four of those girls was from the internet. What the hell was y'all thinking about? <laughs> Flavor, Includes a bunch of beautiful women. I think I need a beer. What does that sound like? An alcohol? No, I needed to to knock off the the headache. Last night, sincere, she had a drink in her hand within five to seven minutes of being in the house. I need about twenty drinks. <laughs> Are you okay? This is just how I am. <laughs> Why are you stumbling out here? I drink five times a day. Hey, yo, <laughs> an idiot. That's nothing but stupidity. You're a drunk ass. I, but I don't like sincere. She's just a drunk. Ghetto. Do your ABCs again. Seasons and Rena. They think I'm an alcoholic, and I'm not. I don't give a damn what they think. They were trying to find something wrong with me so that they can make it look bad to Flav. A, B, C. <laughs> These hoes are opportunists. That's what they're here for. They think it's a game. We need to work on getting these fake ass hoes up out of the house. Ladies, please come on down. Big Rick calls us down to read the flavor gram. I so want to win this challenge today because I cannot wait to get some time with my man. Ladies, here is your first flavor gram. Ladies, today I'm going to find out which one of y'all's got the prescription for my broken heart. Grab whatever you need to give me the treatment. The three nurses with the best remedies will win the heart-stopping date with your man. If you illin', you could be going home tomorrow. Hurry up, ladies, because your rad's leaving in one hour. I wanted to see which one of these girls had the best prescription for love. You got a red belt? What kind of props can I use? This is creative, y'all. I cut that all up, you know what I'm saying, in strips. And I said, you can call me Shashane, because I'm about to kick some ass up in here. You ain't got nothing on me. I'm gone. <laughs> you seen my black tube uh, perfume roommate? Because my black tube perfume is missing. So anybody I smell that smells like me, we're going to have a problem. I won't smell like you. I smell good. <laughs> <laughs> that was real funny. <laughs> Cute. I but didn't I'm gonna go. We're going, okay, it's okay. The hell was that about? Raina, I was looking at her like, oh, this is gonna be the bitch of the house. You seen the black tube of perfume? No. Which okay. one of y'all got my black tube of perfume? Mm. Black tube of perfume. Looking for a black tube. When Raina lost her perfume, I thought she was just there, you know, for the glam, like putting on an act. You know what I'm Don't steal my shit. I ain't got it. Well, at least we know we got a thief in the house, huh? Right. You still can't find it? Do you remember the last place you left it? I ain't lose nothing for real. There's nothing. Raina whispered to me under her breath, I really didn't lose it. That just really rubbed me the wrong way. You just want to be exposed. You know, you just want to be seen. And I realized who, the real from the fake. What? The reason why I said that is because I'm on your mind. You eat, you sleep, and you breathe Raina. So I think that's hot. Driving up and seeing a real hospital, 
I was like, whoa, I didn't think it was this serious. Ladies, welcome to the Flavor of Love General Hospital. Y'all already know, my man's Flav's heart been broken several times. So today, each one of you gets to play Mr. Flav's nurse in your own private treatment room. I wanted them to come up with the best remedies that they knew how, so when I come in that room, maybe they can try to soothe me, and it might move me, it might even groove me. You know what I'm saying? All doctors to the OR. All doctors to the OR staff. We have a broken heart. Oh, my heart. Oh, Rick, my heart. Oh, God, come oh, on. Oh, my heart, bro. Oh, my heart. Oh, damn. Oh, my heart. Oh, shit. Don't worry about that, sir. We're going to get you there with the quickness. Wow. I think I'm in the right spot. First one up, Nurse Miami. She was so sexy. Why well, have a little game today, Flay, for you and I? Let's start the game. I was born and raised in Miami. OK. My bra size. 34, triple D to be exact. Wow. My favorite alcoholic drink, a margarita. Wow. If you answer the questions right after I quiz you, you get an extra look at the end. Wow. Ding, 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 ding. I'm letting Flav know who I am, but at the same time, tease him a little bit. Where was I born and raised? But you never told me that. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Well, what's my name, Flav? What is my name, Flav? She was so sexy, I forgot. Chicago. No. No. Hell no. Miami? That's right. Get it right. Miami, Dave. All right, so that comes off. Next. Wow. My favorite alcoholic drink is what? The margarita, the margarita. For this question, for the road. My bra size is what? Let's go for 34 triple D. Ta -da! Wow! I know one thing, she had me wanting more. Yeah, I'm gonna see you in Miami. <laughs> the next room that I got into was Shy. My name is Nurse Shy Shen. I specialize in Healing a broken hearted. Let's kick it on out of there. Oh, I started out with some kung fu moves, you know. They call me Shashank. Because I heal your heart, your soul, and I knock out the pain! I call it words of healing. Take you further than any medicine that you can ever ask for. Heal me, baby. <laughs> heal your man. Some of these girls are making me feel good. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. Oh. Did that help? Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. So we got a little body paint. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever in the hospital, I recommend that you get twin nurses because it makes you feel twice as better. The type of woman I am, I love to baby my man. And I got you a little goofy gift. When I got in Sincere's room, she gave me a gift, and it happened to be a bear. This bear, right here. You can see this. I turned the bear around. I made that just for you. And it has my name on it. F-L-A-V-O-R. F-L-A-V-E. I made sure that I didn't have no drink, so I'd be sober when I did this. She spelled my name wrong. I hate that. This is from my heart. Really from my heart. And I want you to have this. I ain't gonna lie. Seasons was looking hot. Seasons was looking sexy. Ah, uh, that's not how you spell my name. F-L-A-V-A? Mm-hmm. That's another guy. Anybody else that spells my name like this, they get problems out of me. These girls better start getting my name right, or otherwise they ain't gonna have a bed to sleep in at the end of the night. Oh, my heart. Coming up. Some of these girls, remedies was... You like it? Kind of weird. You gotta wind it slow. Back it up. Bring it around. And later. 
I heard some girls talking on the balconies. The conversation's about me. None of them would ever step to me because they're punks. She got something to say, speak on. Don't step in my face, because I will get kicked off this motherfucking show. I put together a hospital challenge. See, which one of these girls can fix a broken heart? Yo, Rick. Yes, sir. Hopefully, I can leave this hospital a very, very well man. That is the intention, sir. <sighs> cool me off. Cool me off. <sighs> Excuse me, Mr. Flavor Flav. I need ice. Yo, my girl Ice, she was tall, blonde, sexy. Take these darts. Now, you see that target right there? Do you have love for New York? It has a picture of one of <laughs> your previous, <laughs> one of your previous people are the flavor of love. Now, ah, if you can get, ah, ah, ah. stand up. Ah. We'll send you right here. Okay, now throw it. I think of how New York told me how she wants to take charge and she wants to run my life. I'm gonna plan our lives together. You'll be happy. New York. Right there in the middle, G. Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no. Down, baby, you nailed it. Let me give you a hug today. Throwing that dart was very therapeutical. Don't make me break. Do you mind if I uh, take your sneakers off? Let me tell y'all something about Flavor Flav's feet. Touch my feet drives me up the wall. I know you have a lot going uh, on. Nurse Elle didn't even know that that might have been her last call, y'all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Some of these girls ain't making me feel so good. So I'm going to give you an all remedy. You can get rid of the blues with color, all right? Colors of the rainbow, everything that all make you feel better. Her remedy for your man Flavor Flav was a rainbow. I'm like, who this chick think I am, rainbow bright? Can I see one of your fingers, baby? Look at all your fingers. You want to taste it or you all right? Yeah, I'm OK right now. Hey, yo, that girl Tick, she got a great ass. But she's really starting to scare you, boy. Uh, put it in your mouth, Rickers. You like it? What I brought for you are the hottest chips in St. Louis. Huh? Yo, Big Rick! Hi, how are you doing, my king? This is what we call Flavor Gras. Next up was Nurse Raina. And I ain't gonna lie, but the remedies that she had for your man was kind of weird. This is your own personal glass from Raina. And when you punch it, it changes colors. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't really feeling too hot about Raina. We on our way to Hot Lanta. I went into Nurse Hot Lanta's room. Boy, was she looking sexy as ever. Flavor, flavor. Date of birth, 1959. I got a feeling maybe this girl might have Googled me or something. I like that. I like that. I got something for you. She gave me this box right here. Read that, baby. Inside, it says, it's going to take a nation of millions to hold us back. I love you, Flav. That album that... Public Enemy made was voted the best rap album in history. Yo, this is hot. Play, baby, do me a favor. You make sure the next time you give your heart out, you give it out to somebody that's going to take care of it like it deserves to be taken care of. Wow. So after having a date with all 16 nurses, I had to announce who was the winners of the challenge. All y'all did a good job today, but there was three of y'all that really kind of touched me today. Miami and Ice. Miami and Ice. Give me a hug. Give your man love. You two, you two definitely coming with me tomorrow. OK. Now. One girl that really, really touched me today. 
Hotlanta, check this out. The clock that you gave me had something to do with my music. So that goes to show that you've been doing some research on your man. So I got to take you with me, too. And they won a chance to go with me on a solo date. And this was something that I always wanted to do all my life. And I ain't going to lie, I don't know if they was going to be down to do this or not, but this is a date that y'all don't want to miss. Guess I'll see y'all back at the mansion. <laughs> yeah! Stop play. We here. We don't have to focus <laughs> on being here. We are here. Yeah. But somebody is going home tomorrow. I don't believe in somebody up here. I really, truly don't. I heard some girls talking on the balcony, so I went up and kind of eavesdropped a little bit, wanted to hear what they were saying. Um, the twins and Chai were out there talking shit. How about name the one to leave? Yeah, yeah Raina. Raina. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta go. <laughs> I guess the conversation's about me. All I hear out the room is Raina. They want Raina gone. You need to come out. We need to, like, address the situation because... Well, none of them would ever step to me and come in my face and say anything about me because they're punks. Perhaps they were jealous of me. I'd be jealous of me, too, if I wasn't me. It's OK, because I love to be talked about. Talk about me some more, because ain't none of you bitches going to step to my face. Don't step in my face, because I will get kicked off this motherfucking show and have a restraining order against me quickly. So now we have separation of the house, and everybody ready to rip each other's heads off. Let's go. Let's crash their party. It's already clicked up, and I mean, I don't got time for this. It seems like it's a separation. But it's clearly obvious that the separation is between the real, real and the, the fake. fake. Regardless, we're here for Flay, so we're gonna definitely weed out the fake and the fake. We're not gonna have another season one and season two now while we're in the house. I'm popping it off. I'm popping off. I'm going out with a bang. Baby. You can believe that. You know, I love that bitch. I love that bitch is talking about me, though. I love that bitch is talking about me. And you see, I'm just getting irritated with Raina. Straight up irritated. At that point, I was thinking in my head that I have to confront it's Raina. It's time to confront her. Coming up, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Cheryl's a motivational speaker. Put your best selves out there. There was a beautiful energy that was happening. And later, what we about to do, y'all gonna need to be ready. My heart's <laughs> time to be, man. Heights oh, yeah. is my biggest fear. You brought your ladies out to experience probably their first air gas. I'm going out with a bang. Baby. You know, I love that bitch. I love that bitch is talking about me, though. I love that bitch is talking about me. And you, it seems like it's a separation between the real and the fake. I have to confront. It's Raina. time to confront her head on. We're coming for you, girl. <laughs> now I'm just asking. She got something to say? Speak on it. That's all I'm saying. You got something to say about that? Speak on it. Did I say anything about you? No, I'm just asking, though. I'm talking to B.I. I'm just boo. asking you, I'm though, talking to B.I., baby. I'm just asking you, though. Uh, okay, you so you trying to get a little time on, on the camera. I'm straight on that action. Okay, well, you know like what? Like you're saying. the actress. I don't like you. Like you're I was phony. saying. Okay, so, thank you. Put it out there like thank that. Thank you. I was like, thank you. I'm not going to give you any camera time. Have a nice night. Be Raina is a P-U-S, and I won't say the rest. She's phony. It's great waking up at Flay's mansion today, especially knowing that I'm going on a date with him. The only downfall is that I've got to share it with two other girls. All right, ladies, here's your flavor ground for today. Good morning to my beautiful ladies. Miami, Ice, and Hotlanta, you healed your man's broken heart. So get dressed, because today we're going to take our relationship to new heights. I was kind of confused, but I did get the part where it said heights, which is my biggest fear besides spiders. For the rest of you, I've invited a special guest to keep you company until I see you all at tonight's elimination. The whole time, I'm just thinking to myself, like, who is a special guest? I got 15 bitches in the house already that I'm arguing with. Another one added. It's extra stress. See, one thing that I'm looking for in a woman is she got to know something about me. She got to know something about me. Yeah. So what flavor? Is that because you're, like, full of flavor? Flavor what? means everything. Because everything you do has got flavor. What's the correct spelling? How come nobody can get my name right around here? 
Miami. <laughs> Let me tell you something. F L A V O R F L A V. A lot of people would know that. You read my album covers or watch TV. So don't just expect me to have you because you know my name is Flav and I, you look good and you're here to see me, this and that. Nah, you gotta know something about me too. Ladies. Hey, hey, Greg. I would like to introduce to you one of Mr. Flavor Flav's best friends, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Thank you. So let me tell you who Cheryl Lee Ralph is. She's married to a United States senator. She also played on Moesha. But the main thing about Cheryl, she's a motivational speaker. Oh my gosh, look at you. You're all beautiful. <laughs> I wanted her to speak to the girls about some of the things that was going on in season one and two. Slap me, bitch! Put your hands up! Don't really hit me with flowers! Oh, push out, bitch! Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe she can motivate them into doing good things. I just want you to know that I am not here to put you down. I am not here to make you look like a clown. Everybody here deserves respect. Please. You fucking think this is kumbaya land? This ain't no fucking kumbaya up in this motherfucking house. Your fingers don't belong in anybody's face. Right. And I don't care how popular it is when folks say talk to the hand, they rude. Mm -hmm. Sisters got to keep it together. I knew, oh, I knew that. I just can't wait to get to where we go. <laughs> I can't wait for y'all to see what I got for y'all. Your man Flavor Flav is going to take y'all skydiving. <laughs> Man, y'all had to see the looks on they faces. The eyes got so big, Atlanta was afraid of heights. I was like, wow, that's good, that's good. <laughs> this is the tandem harness and container system. This contains our two parachutes, our main parachute and our reserve parachute. Huh? How about if the reserve one fails? <laughs> Grab your ankles and you know what to do the rest of the way. I bit my acrylic nails off of my hand. I was so nervous. Let's go do this thing. Ah! Woohoo! I'm going, folks. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to shit on myself. This is not good. All right, here we go, yo! I just want to know why are you all here? My mommy and my daddy and my brother and sister do not want me here. You have got to consider your parents' thoughts in this. A lot of folks don't have parents to say, sweetheart, think about this. I lost my mother, yeah. so. How did you lose your mother? She died of sacerdosis. What is sacerdosis? It's a scar. It comes over your chest and start covering the whole lungs till you cannot breathe. At this point, um, I'm getting a little sentimental because I kind of connect with Shy because, you know, I lost my mother as well. Because I lost my mother and my father. And, father and, and, and most crazy. of us in here can relate to that. If you look around right now, we're all crying together. <laughs> Everybody's differences don't matter right now. Seasons, she's a fake ass bitch. I ain't crying for them hoes. The only tears coming out of my eyes are for Flav. So all that shit, <laughs> fuck them. Take this to another level. After Miss Shirley left, there was too much of a beautiful energy that was happening that we didn't want to spoil it. What we gonna do to y'all forever? I don't know, we need to do something. I said we play charades, put everybody's name on the paper, put it in the thing, and be that person. This is not a good idea. This game is gonna bring nothing but drama. Okay, y'all, who is this? Man, I like to just go, go get, get kill some alligators up and over here. <laughs> I found it crazy. Chai, she acted as if I was riding on an alligator. I don't ride alligator, I ride cows. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people think I'm a man. was a little offended. Being the person I was, I kind of wanted to throw a wrench in it a little bit. Who am I? A nobody. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Which one? Are you Where's posing? Seasons at? Oh! 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 
since Sears drunk ass got up and impersonated Seasons. She stood up and just stood there. She's like, who am I? She was like, I'm nobody. And everybody's facial expression changed. At that point, I knew it was going to be on. What's that? Crack My name? All right, here we go, yo. So here I am, 13,000 feet in the air. I'm about to go skydiving with Hot Atlanta, Ice, and Miami. And boy, are these girls scared. I know we're going to 13,000, though, right? Right there? All right. I'm sitting here thinking, what's going to happen to my kids if anything happens to me? I'm beyond terrified. Okay. If anything happens to me, make sure my voice is when you take your life and put it on the line with somebody else, that's called really, really, really being down for your man. I will see you on the ground, baby girl. They did Wait, me? They did you. They did, this was sincere. Who am I? Like this. You're nobody. So Klingon is pretty much saying that I'm nobody. Sincere. Also known as Klingon girl. Called me a nobody. I got pretty upset. Who are you to call me nobody? Sincere. It's me. Did Hello? you impersonate me? Yeah. And stand up we and do what you did. Everybody. Right, but stand up and do what you did. I though. did exactly what you're doing right now. Okay. Stand in there. I'm because just saying I don't, you just sit because in the I don't stand behind the bar and drink up all the shit. I don't drink up everything either. either. We can take this outside. Y'all gotta get in each other's face. Y'all gotta get in each other's face. If someone attacks me, I'm definitely gonna fight back. I don't care who you are. If I have something to say to you, I will say it. You ain't nobody. You ain't got nobody else. I'm sorry, Cheryl. It's Doggy Dog. And these hoes is trying to bring me down, and I'm not going to let that happen. She ain't nobody. You ain't nobody. Coming up. You ready to do this? Yeah, boy. Look at what? Oh, my God. My coach, he was telling me, pull the cord, pull the cord. Oh, I think we got a problem. Ah! It was just overwhelming. tonight I go home but guess what I'm going home with my dignity intact and not looking like a fucking drunk running around the house so when I heard that sincere called me a nobody I'm gonna defend myself and you know I let her know no, she I don't fucking know me okay. I know I know, know she don't but I'm a lot of people in the house call me a drunk you know they're just jealous because they don't have personality like me you know what I don't want to get sent home over no hoe but if I was do get sent home tonight I'm slapping Bitch. They call it sincere for a reason. It's very sincere. She'll kick your ass up and down here. I need a drink right now. Okay. We get ready to go. Oh, I ain't jiving. I'm on my way to go start. You ready to do this? One more man says go. We on the go. Lock me down. Lock me up. Put your foot up. Put your foot up. Hold on. Ready? Oh, Lord. I'll go, Miami! <laughs> this is the craziest shit I've ever done. Is she all right? I'm good. Calm down. I felt like if I didn't jump, then he was going to look at me like I was a pussy. <laughs> so, I jumped. Atlanta. You know your man Flavor Flav. 
I pulled the corn early. Too early, folks. We was 10,000 feet up in the air when I pulled my cord. Ooh, flavor, flavor! Hey, he way out there, too. It's nice out here. I think you might have put it a little too early, Flav. Huh? Wow. Ah, man. I'm a Pisces, G. Yeah, that's Canada over there. Word, F-L-A-V-A kills me. F-L-A-V-A, that's another guy. Yeah, I'll be sure to note that. There, you can see him. <laughs> I know. Flavor, Flav! 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 I made it. With these three girls, I felt a real special bond with them. It was a life threatening date that we all three did together. So to me, that was special. That was a rush. Wow. That was, that was. She that overcame was a fear. Just... How do you feel? I'm, I'm straight. I am very proud of y'all. Y'all did real good. Oh, man. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make some decisions tonight. The decisions that I'm making tonight is messing with me right now. But I just want you to make the right decision. Because there's yeah. a lot of people that are on this show that are just there for themselves. On the ride home, I kind of brought it to Flay's attention that some of the girls in the house might not actually be there for him. And a lot of girls have been talking about Raina, so I thought he should know that. Raina kind of just shocked me as that type of person. She want to be all up in the camera. Raina. When that camera come on, she just, she a totally different person. My black super perfume is missing. I ain't lose nothing for real. All three of y'all see that, huh? Yeah. Is it true? Is it true? Could be true. I know what the movement was about and why he has the clock on the 12 and the 6 tick tock. What does this clock represent? The clock was a representation that it was time for us to take a look at ourselves as black people. That's not the reason why I wear the clock. Ice told me Raina kind of seemed fake to her. I said to myself, you might be right. Come on, lady. Okay, I see it. They coming. They coming. They coming. Y'all did a real good job today. Yo, okay? thank you, man. Thank you, baby. Just want y'all to know that, okay? <laughs> job real good because when I came back there was having the best friends party I feel a little bad about eliminating three girls I wish I could only send home one but three gotta go Blave, I gotta tell you Flav today for me somebody tried to knock me off my square before elimination I wanted to talk to Flav alone to just kind of give him my side of the story to let him know honestly why sincere needed to go home something happened with me today Everybody was doing impersonations of people. And I heard that Sincere called me a nobody. When I found out that she said that about me, I approached her. I looked, I said, I heard that you were doing an impersonation of me. She wanted to yell and get in my face. And I'm like, I'm not here for that. And for somebody to tell me that I'm nobody, because first day I wasn't behind the bar fixing myself four drinks. I was very disappointed at the information that I got from Season Spouse Sincere. Especially after Cheryl Lee Ralph's up in my crib. Maybe Sincere is trying to set you up to get you out. You got it. And if that's the case, that's not good. Coming up. You know what, Rick? I'm getting ready to give this a little extra twist. Hoo <laughs> hoo. I know one girl here that's really here for Flav. I knew I had to get her out the house. So, yo, this is the second elimination right now. Three girls gotta go home tonight. Caesars need to take her nobody ass home. I love Flavor Flav, and I don't want to disrespect him. I won't disrespect him anyway, but I will disrespect her. I feel like there's a lot of fake girls in the house who I prefer to see go home over a lot of real girls who's really here for Flav. Definitely my first choice is Raina. She Raina needs to go. First choice. She needs to go. Bottom line.
all day I've been nervous about tonight's elimination. But I'm one of those persons that's just misunderstood. They're all trying to team up, so I am kicked off the show because they're punks. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, ladies. Once again, this is the time I must make some decisions. First clock. Yes, sir. Hot Lanta, come get your clock. <laughs> I was more than glad to give Hot Lanta that clock because we did something together that was very special. This next clock right here represents where I recorded some of my records at, where my godson is at. He's in Chicago. Shy, come get your clock. After I got that clock, ooh, I was feeling good. You know what time it is. Oh, I know what time it is. Thing one and thing two. <laughs> it wasn't the last clock this time, so. Yeah, so we were a little relieved. <laughs> we was relieved. Buns! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Buns. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, Prancer, come get your clock. You so crazy. <laughs> Blade, I can't walk with your pee to get you so I can sop you up in that gravy. <laughs> And I am gonna stop you. I came all the way here to get all you. All the way from Mississippi to get you, boo. <laughs> Miami, come get your clock. <laughs> BX, come get your clock. God is the only one that can make it rain. So I'm gonna give this clock to the first girl out the plane. Yo, Ice, come get your <laughs> clock, Ice. Yeah. Got a lot of heart up in there. Just want to get to know it a little better. That's why you ain't going no place right now. <laughs> Seasons, don't worry about nothing. Come get your clock. Excuse me. When I heard Seasons name called, I was a little disappointed because I felt like she went up there and kissed his ass for that clock. Only one in this whole house that should be able to push any button you got should be Flav. And I'm not going to push no buttons. Never again. I need a strong woman, and I, I really want to get to know you some more, so would you stick around? Definitely. Well, when I got the clock from Flav, I was completely surprised, but sometimes I underestimate myself. I see two clocks up there right now. Five bodies. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what Seasons has told him. I am just praying that I'm not going home tonight. Sincere, come get your clock. When Flav gave Sincere the clock, I knew I had to get her out the house somehow, some way. So, game on. I didn't really get to make a connection with you yet, but I want to. Damn right. I gave a clock to Sincere, even though I know she had a fight with Seasons, because honestly, she might be here fighting for her man. They say silence is golden. If they wasn't lying, so it happens to me with this last clock I'm holding. So here I am with one clock and four girls left. I'm getting ready to give this a little extra twist. And you know what your man Flav decided to do? He decided to change it up a little bit. Yo, Al, come here, Al. How you doing, baby? Good. Yo, Tick, come here, Tick. Y'all ain't the only ones, because there's one more that got to leave me tonight. Um, 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 um. I can't remember names. I called down L, I called down Tick, and I forgot the other girl's name. Damn, I can't remember names. Um, 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 um. I was praying. I'm like, are you serious? Like, what the hell are you thinking? I thought he had lost his mind. And was like, Raina, 
calm down. It was St. Louis. That's right. It was St. Louis. You three were chosen to leave me tonight. Thank you all for coming to get to know me. Can I get some love? You can. I let Elle go home. I wasn't really feeling her too much. In a way, it's a little relief that I'm leaving. Because it was getting crazy in there. It really was. I compliment him. He compliments me. If he was supposed to be my man and we were together, I'm the type of woman who would have died for Flav. Nice to meet you. Honestly, I can't say what happened. I kind of stood back in the background and just watched. I just think I didn't step up enough. Time is up, y'all. The reason why, really, I think I eliminated St. Louis is because I couldn't remember a damn thing. <laughs> Yo, Raina, come get your clock. You okay? She was hurt really bad. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. Cause you gonna stick around for a while, would you? Yes. The last clock that I gave away, it was to Raina. A lot of the girls was telling me that Raina was fake. But you know what, though? She was hot. <laughs> Special service. Okay, thank you. At your service. I didn't mean to keep you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> These bitches better watch out because they do not know what the hell they're getting themselves into. I'm here to protect my man and make sure he walks away with the right one, and that's me. Come gather around your man. This right here is to y'all. Yeah. So one time for your man, Flavor Flay! Flavor Flay! Next time on The Flavor of Love. We've been expecting you. Wow. The girls is gonna create a Flavor Flay restaurant. He's bringing over a professional food critic. This whole dish, I'd be dead. Oh, that's all. That's a bad start. Wow, we're going ice skating. Oh. Come on, baby girl. Hey. I'm going to use this opportunity to let him get to know a little bit more about Sincere. Play, listen, I'm not an alcoholic. Seasons needs to shut the fuck up. I've oh. been faded one, one time. One time. Because I'm about to make her shut the fuck up. Feet are disgusting for me. Yes, I love feet. I hate toes. Yeah, me too. Toe nails. I love feet. I'm weird. I just like feet. Really? Would you suck on a man's toe? Like girls' feet or guys' feet? Oh! I would suck on my feet. Would you? I would. You know what? I would suck my thumb and like like to cuddle like with my dad and my mom. And I would. My dad would like always put me towards the end of the chase, and I would be with his feet like. Really? Just like his feet were really clean though. Yeah. Ha <laughs>